Joker! It's the moment you've been waiting for! So many legendary fighters! Awesome! Uh, are you sure he can handle this? I mean, he's got a knife and a gun. I'm sure he'll be fine. I don't know. It looked pretty tough. Harness the power of the heart to summon a persona. Unleash the rebellious spirit growing inside you. Persona! Oh, Arsene. Arsene? Can't he use a more powerful persona? What are you talking about? Arsene is awesome. It's Joker's main persona. As long as you hold on to your rebellious spirit, Arsene will give your attacks an extra punch. Wow, he can use wings instead of his grappling hook. If Joker is attacked while Arsene is around, he can counterattack with Tetracarn and Makarakarn. A counter that's also a reflect? Is that even allowed? This is... Mementos? The palace birthed from the hearts of the masses, right? Yes. And Mementos has a little secret. Isn't its entire existence a secret? The base color changes depending on the music. Oh. Seriously? That's awesome! I can hardly believe my eyes! Now's our chance! Let's help him out! Witness the power of the Phantom Thieves! Go! Beat him up! Smash is looking cool, eh, Joker? The version 3.0 update for the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game is almost here. What are we adding, you ask? You're about to find out. But first... As part of the Fighter's Pass, Challenger Pack 1 introduces Joker from Persona 5. With his cunning moves and knack for knives, opponents will fall victim to Joker's masterful manipulation. For his neutral special, he wields a gun. To shoot continuously, press and hold the button or repeatedly tap it. While shooting, you can also dodge forward, backward, or in midair. His up special fires a grappling hook. It can be aimed at a diagonal angle, or you can use it to pull opponents closer. latch onto edges. His side special invokes Aha with a mere finger snap. The initial hit isn't very strong, but it does inflict additional damage over time. And know this, these are not even their final forms. The full power of these special moves must be unleashed. The trick, his down special, Rebel's Guard. Joker's Rebellion Gauge fills up slowly over time, when he gets hit by an opponent or when he's behind in terms of damage or stock. And by using Rebel's Guard, he can fill the gauge faster while reducing any damage received by half. If you press and hold the button after the move is activated, you can even defend from combo attacks. When you release the button, the opponent will get knocked back. Once his Rebellion Gauge is full, persona. he'll unmask and summon a manifestation of his persona, Arsene. Until the Gauge runs out, Arsene will assist Joker in a powerful way. Return! 
With his persona at his side, Joker can deal additional damage with each attack. And beyond that, his special moves will change. His neutral special upgrades to Gun Special. It handles the same as before, only now you'll fire three bullets per shot. His up special transforms into Wings of Rebellion. Using Arsene's wings, you'll swiftly rise up. While this move won't deal damage, it will make you invincible for a time. So, have a safe flight. For his side special, Arsene invokes Egeon. This large blast repeatedly hits opponents, inflicting them with longer lasting additional damage. His down special performs one of two counter attacks, each triggering automatically. For melee attacks, you'll counter with Tetracarn. And projectiles can be deflected with Makarakarn. Oh, by the way, Arsene is completely invincible. And then there's Joker's final smash, All Out Attack. After cutting through foes, he'll launch a coordinated strike with the Phantom Thieves of Hearts. In case the first slice didn't cut it, you can try again once more by tilting the control stick back in the other direction. Arsene doesn't change Joker's final smash. So feel free to use it whenever you want. That was graceful. Joker's victory screen replicates the one in Persona 5. The Phantom Thieves have something to say about his victories too. When Joker taunts, Morgana shows up. Looking cool, Joker! His alternate costume is his Shujin Academy uniform. Good thing he can use his glasses to summon Arsene. We're also adding in the new stage, Mementos. In this mysterious underground, many twists and turns will come your way during battle. And before long, the Phantom Thieves of Hearts will rush to the scene in the Morgana car. If you count the arrangements, 11 music tracks will be added in. They're not only from Persona 5, but also from Persona 4 and Persona 3. When one of these tracks from Persona 3 or Persona 4 plays at mementos, the color of the stage and background will change. Set your preferred playback ratio in My Music. The victory screen changes in the same way when Joker wins. Challenger Pack 1 will include the new fighter Joker, his stage Mementos, and the Persona music tracks when it launches on April 17th. If you purchase this pack, you'll also get a Joker route in classic mode and open up a special version of the Spirit Board. You can also purchase the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Fighters Pass for access to this Challenger Pack and all others for a total of 5 packs. We're currently hard at work on the other fighters. Keep an eye out for news about them in the future.
The new Mii Fighter costumes will be available for purchase April 17th, with more to come in the future. Finally, let's cover the new content included in the free version 3.0 update. Make your own stages and try them out immediately with the new Stage Builder. In handheld mode, you can freely draw using the touchscreen. Create moving platforms, spinning platforms, whatever strikes you. There are even new stage elements to choose from. And there are front and back layers. By changing layers, you can add decorative elements to your stages. When you finish a stage, you can battle there by selecting it from this tab on the stage select screen. Now you can import videos saved to your Nintendo Switch system to a timeline and splice them together. Editing is very simple. Just pick the parts you want to keep, add some background music, and subtitles, and choose how to transition from scene to scene. Once your video is complete, simply export it. You could keep it all to yourself, but creations are meant to be shared, aren't they? You can view gameplay videos and stages created and uploaded by users around the world. Beyond viewing players' videos and replays, you can also upload and download Mii Fighters in stages. If you find something you like, give it a yeah. Or you can even follow the person who posted it. Smash World is a service found in the Nintendo Switch Online app for smart devices. The app already supports voice chat. And now, you'll be able to easily view recommended videos and stages in Smash World without starting up the game. You can also search for videos by fighter. Recommended stages can be viewed in one place. If you find some you like, simply tap the queued downloads button. The next time you start up Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, you'll be able to download them to your system. You can also check in-game notifications here. Or create a new spirit team by using spirits in your collection. The version 3.0 update of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate will be released on April 17th.